Hello everyone and welcome to another Monday Night Live edition. Tonight is one that is special because I am here crafting my friend Kay who is the owner of Old Paper Read. And so we are here to showcase a fabulous design that you can create for Christmas. So <clears throat> you may have seen, we saw this gift tag at Outback. <laughs> and this has a gift card hole in the back of it, right? That's cute and simple. It's nice. However, you can create your very own at your home. So we have combined AI art along with paper crafting, using a silhouette, using a Sizzix, using glue, glue dots, and so much more to create these items. So tonight we are making two items live on camera. The first one is this one. This is um, AI art <clears throat> created for Christmas. It looks, it's a coffee cup, but it looks like Santa's with his buckle and the white piece up here. And then we have this cute stocking. As you can see, it's pop dotted out. So you have your three dimensional layers going on here. And so these are what we will create tonight on live. So if you're here, be sure to follow my page. Be sure to follow Old Paper Reads page here on TikTok because she has more things that will be coming up soon as well as like this live and share it out to it. invite other people to join the live so if you're here follow my page follow Old Paper Reads page and then be sure to share this video out so we will go ahead and get started and these are super duper cute. We used AI art, we used silhouette, we um, did a print and cut, and we used a Sizzix, Big Shot Sizzix to go ahead and get the um, dimensions on the paper, which looks like actual sweater. Yes, it does, sweater. All right, and so this idea came about we were talking about ways to combine our talents together. And then um, she went to Outback and saw this design and this sealed the deal for us because guess what? These things are being done. It's um, cute to have on the tree. And it can be used over and over again with care because it is paper. But this is absolutely cute. So first up will be our little stocking with our girl on here. So... We have everything cut out already. Um, we didn't want to cut anything out on live because that would take a little bit longer. But we will assemble this together on live. So be sure if you have any questions to post them up. Ask. Share this out. And let's get started. So first of all, we want to show you how it looks on the silhouette screen itself. These are all of our elements here on the silhouette canvas. And so each portion was cut out with this. And this is the design that we created once we cut everything out. All right, so I'll keep this here so I can see what I'm doing. So first of all. Well, what we're gonna start off with is assembling uh, one layer of the stocking um, by attaching these two pieces to this piece. And this glue that I'm using is by Old Papery. Um, mm -hmm. It will be coming out soon. It's a really uh, good glue. It dries clear. Um, not have to. You don't have to wait long for it to get tacky. Um, and yeah, it's it's just some good glue. And I use this on my live when I did my um, pumpkin name tag. A nice thin layer. What's that commercial? A dab or do you? <laughs> <laughs> a nice thin layer. Right here. 
and if you notice it comes out like really fine so you're not going to be wasting um, a whole lot of glue no nope. so that's that part right there and then <clears throat> this portion we'll go right here I'm just making sure that it lines up once I glue it on there So did everyone have a good Thanksgiving? Did you eat a lot of turkey? What are your... All right, Kay, I have a question to ask you. What's that? What? Do you eat stuffing? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I do not eat stuffing. What? I don't. What? Well, never mind. <laughs> I'm sure you eat <clears throat> stuffing, right? I do. And my question was, what do you call it? Stuffing or dressing? Because I've heard it called so many different names. Is it stuffing or dressing? I think it would depend on what you're doing with it. Okay, explain. Well, duh, if you stuff it into the turkey. Usually you stuff it right, you stuff in the turkey. But dressing, you're dressing the turkey. Okay. I always call it stuffing, even though I don't put it inside a turkey. And you all, I made an oopsie. But you saw I could pull it off and put it back on there. And it fit. Because I have that overage right there. So what do I do? We can trim it. All else fails, let's trim. Um, you can always use a self-adhesive cutting mat. Along with a good exacto knife. And you can trim it. And you can just trim that little piece right there. Whew. All right, we got it off. So <clears throat> we fixed that one mm -hmm. with no problemo. All right, so the next step is that we have to add some texture to to the stocking so we're going to place it so we're going to place it in what we call an uh, embossing folder and um, it's basically a folder and when you open it up uh, one side is debossed and the other side is just uh, bossed or raised um, we're just going to layer it in here um, now you can use several different types of uh, die cutting machine or embossing machine but tonight what we're going to use is the Sizzix which is this one right here uh, we're going to put it in frame for you and if you give me a second I'm just going to back it up so you guys can see it let's see there we go so this is called the electric um, Sizzix um, but we do have they do have manual ones as well. Um, and what it does is it apply pressure to the embossing folder so that you can get that texture of whatever your embossing, embossing folder is on the paper that of your choice. So to do that, we're going to, it comes with plates. So any um, embossing machine or die cutting machine that you receive should come with um, plates. So we're going to use the thick plate um, first, and then we're going to use uh, the acrylic shim, in a sense. And then we're going to put the folder in the middle, and then we're going to put another um, acrylic plate on the top. This is what you call your sandwich. So now that when you have your uh, now that you have your sandwich together, you can run it through the machine. And like I said, this one is an electric one, so um, it's actually going to go by itself. But if you have, and we can show you an example of a crank one in a second, um, you would have to crank it through. But let's go ahead and take this through. 
up. Give us one second. Might help if it stays <laughs> All right, and as you can see, it's going through. And I will let Shanika do the honors of opening the embossing folder so you guys can see the texture while I move this out of the way. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So the texture is there. Can you see that? You see how the texture part is there? Quite nice. Now while she's um, still assembling, we're going to kind of just bring the other option of embossing uh, machine in view. So this is called a cuddle bug. Now this one, like I said, is a crank. So when you put the plates in, you will definitely have to, you know, crank it like this. Um, now this is a Cricut brand and I do know that Cricut does not offer the cuddle bug anymore. However, um, you may find some like on um, creative, um, I'm sorry, not creative, Facebook market. Um, you might find some on OfferUp, you know, places like that. However, um, Sizzix does sell a cranking um, option as well. So if you go to Sizzix website or if you go to scrapbook.com or I think Simon Says Stamp, they would have um, the crank option as well as the automatic option. So, And I know Anna Griffin has one as well. Um, forgot what her, oh, the Empress, I believe it's called the Empress. It's on HSN, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so those are just some different options for you. And right now what Shanika is doing is actually placing um, pop dots on the back of the item so that um, it can give it like a three-dimensional look. Um, kind of like it's raised off the paper, gives it like a unique look. All right, and just press it down and it mm -hmm. is attached. So you can see there in the middle how it looks. All right, so then next we have We have candy canes. But first of all, let's talk about the paper that this candy cane is printed off on. It is Koala Ultra Premium Photo Paper and it's satin. It has a very nice, sleek feel to it. So if you have an inkjet printer, I suggest getting some of this to use in some of your projects because it gives it a nice, a nice feel. We did one before, what is the other one? That, that one's the one. No, with the shiny one. Oh, the gloss? We did one before with glossy paper. And you can see the difference in between the two. They're both pretty, but the, this is the glossy and this is the premium. And you can, the satin, and you can see the differences in them. Mm -hmm. Still has that nice glow, but the, the satin looks, it's crisper. <laughs> <laughs> and then right. another thing you want to pay attention to is the type of paper that you're working with. So if you're working with like dull cardstock, definitely want to go with the satin option. And if you're working with something that has like some shimmer to it, because I know like um, Recollection has um, shimmer paper, then the gloss will probably look best with that. Um, only because you know when the light hits it, light hits it. Um, it gives that nice glow. So, All right, so placing this here. Well, let's place it a little higher because we do have to. Do I have a dot up there? I'll take that one off. Let's see. We can probably put this so we can see how far up. All right, so right there. Mm -hmm. All right. 
press that down and take off one of these dots because you don't need it right there. Bring that down here. And then this will just go right on top of it for another three dimensional effect. So y'all, all the crafts that we're doing for the month of you know, end of November, beginning of December, are all geared towards Christmas and Christmas themes because this is geared to help you be able to create things for for your business. And so this will then go right on top. And I should have I should have turned mine to the side a little bit, but you see the difference in what I did. My oops. But <laughs> this is um how it how it look. Now, I know y'all see Shanika struggling with this pop dot. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go ahead and try to did y'all catch for Black Friday? You know, I saw something somebody posted on Instagram. They were saying they were in Target and that Target had stuff on sale, but they took the price tag out and it was literally the same exact prices. I saw that. I saw that. Same exact pricing. I saw that. Just trying to get over on us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's trying to get the pop dot out with the reverse tweezers. <laughs> I'll show y'all my struggles on camera, okay? I won't be ashamed. <laughs> I just wanted one more to go on the back of this so it's not kicked up in the air. <laughs> mm. All right. So that is that part so then next we want to go ahead and start adding in our little girl now this is a i art all the images that you see here are a i art images so don't let anybody tell you all that a i art cannot be used to create and design things because it can I'm in a Facebook thank you, in a Facebook group. <laughs> I'm struggling. In a Facebook group and somebody posted that um somebody she knows said that they were not making money using AI art. And I really failed to believe that because there are so many things that you can do with AI art. And I've shown you all some things you can do with AI art over the past few weeks. I did the activity place mat. We did the door banner. We did the greeting cards. We did um or you can take it back any further. You did um baby shower stuff. Baby shower stuff. Chip eggs. Mm -hmm. Uh she did a, a banner, uh, the backdrop. Banner, backdrop. So it's it's definitely a lot that you can do with AI art. It's just a matter of thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. Doing something different. I think that's a lot a lot of our hang up sometimes we think about just what we have been doing and not what we could possibly be doing. And so we don't go go past that. I think I'm a school counselor during the daytime, and so I read a book to one of my classes about going going past the fence 
If we stay on this side, we never know what is on the other side. That's so true. And that's a part of life, too. That is so true. I tell you one thing, though. Fear can keep us paralyzed and keep us stuck. Ask me how I know. <laughs> mm. Truth be told, fear got me right now. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all about how we push yeah. it. Yeah. How we push Line this stuff up on live got me like, what in the world? <laughs> All right, that's better. So now we have our ornaments that go along with her, and they will go right on top as well. So this is too cute, and it's something great to have on your um, tree for Christmas. Um, I've done sublimation ornaments before, but I like these. Because it, um, they both have meaning to them, but this can take on a whole new, new meaning. And if you take care of it throughout the years, you can um, reuse it. Yeah, it gives it a different feel too. You know, with sublimation, you can't get that three D look. Mm -hmm. It's all flat. Um, and don't get me wrong; there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but with paper, you get that 3D look. It's like, oh, did I just see what I saw? Mm -hmm. And these are also cute for um, teacher gifts. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a friend group swap. Oh, my goodness. This thing give me a run for my money. <laughs> Y'all, she's struggling. For real. <laughs> Here you go. I'm going to cut my finger down, too. That one. Thank, you. Thank you. And also with this AI art, the ornament was one um, clip art, and then the girl was another clip art. And, you know, we just grouped her together. But when it comes down to cutting, to make it look even more uh, 3D-ish, to make it stand out and pop more, we cut out the ornament by itself and stacked it on top of her so it can give it that that look like this. You can see. So that's what she's doing now, y'all. She's struggling <laughs> with this pop these pop dots. Listen. Thank you. I just took one. Alright. So oh this is our ornament. How did I do? Whew, I feel like I'm sweating. <laughs> Y'all, she's, she's still missing so, step. I did miss a step. But we're we so, going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. We need it. some um, ribbon. Yeah, we do need ribbon. And guess what, y'all? I forgot. And I unplugged the hot glue gun. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the next one okay. then we'll come back and add the All ribbon right. and give the time the hot glue to so up next this one ooh, hey. this is another AI art design the woman is AI art and then we have what is a coffee mug with a Santa belt buckle and the cap cap <laughs> the top for the cup on there so we'll do this one as well oh did I um and so you can see the gift card goes back here oh, yeah, on the back that. so that slides <laughs> in right there on the back and there you go that's your ornament gift tag gift card holder all right so and y'all can do like what I do. I tell them to uh, take the gift card out and give me the ornament back. Mm. <laughs> and you reuse it for the next year. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So this one, the gift card goes in first. Yes. We have our slots there. It goes in right there. Using our glue that's coming out soon what? by Old Papery. Soon. It goes on 
quite, but it dries clear. And um, as you can see earlier, I had something on there and I peeled it back off and it came back off, didn't tear my paper or anything. And it, it sealed it right back up without applying any more glue. So this glue is the truth. And then right there. All right. Mo says nice, and she also says oh so cute. Thank you, thank you. All right, so this is our cup, and then next we are going to add the wrapper for our cup. Make sure I get it right. All right, then you slide it up. Until it can't go up anymore. But don't glue it to the actual ornament like somebody's really. I think we got it upside down. Okay. <laughs> All right. So slide it here. But do not glue it to the actual, <laughs> to the actual card stop. You glue it earlier. I did that earlier. <laughs> you um you can't get it off. <laughs> So, I'm just going to glue the black to the black, not to the actual, not to the red part. That way, it can come off and they can get their gift card out. Without tearing yes. pieces. <laughs> yes. All right, so that is there. Um, next, let's do our belt buckle. That's too cute. And don't be afraid of um, different types of paper because that belt buckle is like mm -hmm. we want to say married paper. We want to say metallic because it's not metallic. Mm -mm. It's like married. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's this right here. And that's what the belt buckle is. Yes. So it's, it's like, yeah, married. So we say married. So add your different... Um, add different papers together like the mirrored and um, already textured if you don't have an embossing machine and keep in mind you can actually um, add even more texture to paper that's already textured and the paper that Shanika is laying right now is actually mm -hmm. you want to say that's metallic? It looks like it's, it's metallic. It has a shimmer to yeah. it. I don't know if you can see it but all right, and now she goes on the side. So this could be a good um, friendsmas type thing. If you and your girlfriends get together and you have a gift card you want to give, this is super duper cute. Just add her to the side, and that is it. And this is also printed off of that ultra premium photo paper, that satin. So you can see how um, it has a sheen to it. But it's not glossy. It looks good. That's really nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. But that's just for your ink inkjet printer. Correct. And keep in mind that we can also um, cut out two of her and pop dot her as mm -hmm. well if you want to add dimension. Oh, we forgot to show her on the cut file. So this is the cut file for the coffee cup. Okay. And see, I have another one of her to the side. So we could have cut, you know, two of her or you could even cut three of hers depending on, you know, how extravagant um, <laughs> you want it mm -hmm. to be maybe. So, um, yeah, make it fun. And also keep in mind that these are not only, they don't, like, you don't have to use them just for Christmas craft. Mm -mm. It could be any time of the year. Birthday, just because, anniversary. Mm -hmm. 
all them other holidays. Valentine's Day. Yep. That's coming up soon. That I'm Easter. Sure. Oh, definitely Easter. Definitely Have a Easter. cute egg or something. Mm-hmm. But these are quick and easy. And you um, you know, have your art downloaded, put it in silhouette, do a print cut, and assemble and go. Oh, we did say um let's keep the hot glue heat up already. We got a little hot glue coming out. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna flow with it. So I'm probably gonna do this upside down. Mm-hmm. So I just cut off a piece of um trim and this is called trim. Um, find the pop dot part if I can get it. There we go. I'm gonna stick it here and then just press and hold for a little bit. And I always do a little bit of extra just to make sure I get to the end so it looks like we're good here. So I'm gonna trim off just a here over here. And notice I did that so that way we won't see mm-hmm. ribbon in the back like this one. I have a ribbon in the back, and I was like, we got to fix that. So, you do it that way. And there it is. Oh, we missed the piece. <laughs> we we left off the, the gift piece. card piece back here. Listen, we're going to cut that right now. This one has it here. We are going we're going to add it right here. You guys are gonna hear the silhouette machine. <laughs> <laughs> but it was my fault. I definitely missed. No, nope, when you're working and doing stuff, you sometimes you you yeah. gotta go back and redo. That's okay. Yes. We got paper here ready to go. So thank you all for tuning in. This is the first time we've gone live together, but it shall not be the last time oh, that we go live together. <laughs> yeah, I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous. Oh, Alright, so you guys are going to hear probably some loud noise. Um, if anyone has a silhouette for you kind of know what time it is. Um, but we're just going to cut this really quick. Shanika, you want to tell them about what we got up and coming? So, for next Monday, or for next, for next Monday, we're doing a um, Santa letter. So, writing a letter to Santa, so doing the template for that with the envelope, and then, um, the letter... And then to close it out, and it'll be super duper cute, and it's easy to make using Canva. So, maybe another idea that you can use during the holidays when you're at home and don't know what to do, play this game board and you'll love it. I made some for my daughters for math, um, and it was good as well. So, you can create it and make it be what you need it to do. <laughs> it's okay. We had an oopsie. Yeah, we did it. We <laughs> cut all the way through, y'all. This Your machine okay. is so quiet. Mine is loud. You think so? Mine, mine is more loud. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. I thought mine was loud, too. We're going to try this again. We're going to get it together. So be sure if you're not following us here on TikTok, follow Roy Statements and follow that you all are on this crafting journey with us. 2024 is going to be exciting. <laughs> an exciting year. So be sure to remember the names Old Papery and Royal Statements because we have things that are coming down that you all 
need to be a part of. But be sure to follow us here on TikTok. It's going to be fun. All right. So this is the back of our stocking for the actual gift card. And as you see, we have our score lines already cut here on the silhouette. So we just, we're going to fold, fold those lines. And then we are just going to glue it on there. So just to show you what I just cut, this is what I just cut. This piece to hold uh, the gift card. So That was so simple. Like two lines of glue. Yes. And that was it. And now I'm going to glue this onto the back, back of this. And then this is where your gift card will go. Are doing this you know add the amount of glue you need to make sure that it will um remain in place all right I'm gonna press it down for a little bit press 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 it is there and then we're going to add our, our ribbon, ribbon here push it off it's like scissors I'll just take it and cut it at an angle mm -hmm. like that. There you go. All right. So we have shown you all two different gift <clears throat> tag ornament <laughs> ornament holders. <laughs> <laughs> and these are all using AI art. We use the silhouette. We use the inkjet printer with the um, satin paper. To print these out, we have our card stock on here. We use the Sizzix to give that embossing for the stocking. We use ribbon. And we use our glue from Old Paper that's coming out soon. Soon. So remember what I said. These are cute gifts for teachers, for your kids, for your coworkers, for whoever. And they're not just for Christmas. You can use it also for any holiday, anniversary, Valentine's Day, Easter. These are cute and simple crafts to do for that as well. And you tack on your gift card there or on the back and you're good to go. And this is different from the regular gift card holder that we have. This is typically a piece of paper with a gift card there. Um, so this elevates that to make it more sophisticated and sassy and I like it teachers appreciation too yes teacher appreciation that could be ooh, a pencil mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's coming up other than Christmas um well we have Valentine's Day mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then you got Black History Black History Month you have St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. I want to... I'm not sure when teacher appreciation is. There's also bus driver appreciation. A cute little bus Ooh, would be nice, yeah, too. That would be nice. You, have, you know, bus drivers always drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Easter. Easter. You have, for graduation, do 2024 big enough to have a gift card slide in the back yeah. of the four. Yeah. Um, for a wedding, what would be really nice is to have a big blinged out ring. That would be cute. <laughs> and you can use this. That with, would be cute. Use this metallic, like, mirrored paper or some <laughs> other texture type of silver paper to give it that bling. Not only that, you got paper embellishment. You got the bling mm. flat back that you can also add to that. So that, that would, would be, be nice. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. And then you got baby showers. So yes. You like in uh, the baby carriage. Mm hmm. Um, the diaper. Mm hmm. Definitely the diaper. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so you got a lot. Yeah. You got a lot. 
Yeah. So the possibilities are truly endless. Does anyone have any questions? All right. So no questions. Thank you all for joining on tonight. Be sure to be doing a Santa letter, a letter to Santa, and also have an envelope to match that letter. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in, and you all have a wonderful night. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus.